Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Legends Beware. Welcome to our second installment of the allure of myths and legends. I'm heading up to Dahlonega, Georgia with survivalist Rusty Smith to meet up with our good friend, prospector, Gary Sutton. Gary's been exploring that area for years and he recently discovered more abandoned gold mines from the 1800s. We've been up there before and we'd experienced some things in those mines that had us believe that they could be haunted. to say to us. When I was 10, my grandma used to tell about her dad going gold panning and stuff like that and they get gold and pan for it and she said when they was little they'd get out after a thunderstorm in Dahlonega, the townspeople would get out and walk around and pick up little nuggets big as pencil erasers. And, you know, through school and stuff like that, I'd piddle around with my brothers and stuff like that. We'd go to the branch and pan a little bit of gold, and you could see it. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, it's fun. You don't get in no trouble. And then, uh, 92, I went to Dahlonega and found some gold mines, and I just fell in love with it and started going into the mines, and I found a good bit of gold. But it's just something to do the history of our town and stuff like that. It's real enjoyable. There's a lot of fresh fall in here, so. Oh, yeah. A lot. Anybody here? probably about 50 feet below the surface in an old gold mine here. Um, it splits here, it goes down, and then up. We really have no way to get to that upper level. What are you talking about? Oh, that's awesome. Sure is. Different. Yes. That's the cool part when you see these 
Yeah. Where they were pickaxing. Right. God, that's crazy, man. The air is so thin in here. We're all having difficulty breathing. So we're gonna head back out. It's only been 20 minutes in this mine, but there's just no air in here at all. So we're gonna uh, head out. I don't wanna wake him up. experienced any like paranormal type stuff it would have been the Finley mine I was back in there with a cousin and uh, we was taking snapshots and because it was cool the first time I'd been in there and I really didn't hear nothing but my when I took the pictures you could see different look like faces and people with their arms you know arm hanging down like that or see somebody like a shadow of something. And uh, so I started taking pictures and just nick picking them and you could actually find stuff. It's like we're digging our own grave, ain't it? Oh, dude. You had to say that, didn't you? <laughs>